The decision to go ahead with D-Day relied on one man, and he wasn't a general or a politician. He was, in fact, a Met Office meteorologist, a weather forecaster. Group Captain James Stagg had the job of advising the American general, Dwight Eisenhower, when the conditions were good to go. The very outcome of World War II would depend on him getting it right. So this is one o'clock on the 5th, one o'clock in the morning on the 5th. This is when D-Day should, this should have been D-Day. Correct. But we postponed it because of that. Yes, because as, as forecast by Stag, the area of low pressure has made its way eastwards. It's now to the north of Scotland. We've got this cold front running down the channel. There were strong winds, there was rain reducing visibility. Completely unsuitable conditions for the D-Day landing. These are the very charts that James Stagg used to make his judgment. There were a lot of strict guidelines as to what the weather had to be doing in order for a successful D-Day landing. Now, these included that it needed to be within a few days of the full moon and also you needed low tides at dawn. Too choppy and the landing crafts wouldn't make it onto the beaches. Too cloudy and the paratroopers wouldn't hit their drop zones. Those sent in first, shortly after midnight on June the 6th, could only hope for the best. When we hit the coast like the uh, anti-aircraft started up and the pilot had to take uh, evasive action but we were all stood up then ready to jump because you, you get up when the red light goes on <laughs> but as he, as he was taking evasive action over this anti-aircraft fire even with that kit, kit bag on my leg we were all touching the top of the fuselage and our feet weren't on the ground. I was just sitting there thinking what it was going to be like to land in the glider in that sort of terrain and uh, inside a gun battery, which they had got no chance. Well, how are they going to land us in there? At 16 minutes past midnight, the first Allied airborne troops landed in Normandy. The glider pilots brought them in with impeccable skill. Despite the low cloud cover, they had landed within 50 yards of their intended target, Pegasus Bridge. It took only a short amount of time to capture it from the Germans, and then another bridge fell nearby. The coded message was then sent back to Fleet HQ. The two words, ham and jam, mission accomplished. But D-Day was only a few hours old. Had James Stagg lost his nerve and advised against going in on the 6th, the chances are D-Day would have been a failure. The weather, Two weeks later, the next window of opportunity was the worst for 20 years. And this is illustrated in this document here from Stag to Eisenhower. And this shows how bad the weather would have been if they'd waited for the next appropriate time with the tides. In response to this, Eisenhower replied to Stag, thanks and thank the gods of war that we went when we did.